Welcome to Mahjong Central. My name is Michelle. I'm going to do some Charleston modeling for American style, and I'm going to time myself in practice for playing in tournaments. I call these sprints. I have my smartphone out, so I'm going to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints, and then laps two and four will be set up and then I'll average my time for laps one, three, and five. My goal is to be under two minutes with my decision making. I think for advanced players, two minutes is good. For intermediate, three minutes. And for beginners, four minutes. So I'm gonna take 14 random tiles. Okay, there's my 14. Now I'm going to take my Charleston tiles and I'm going to make sure there are no jokers in here because I don't want to waste my time swapping out jokers. So if I find any in here after my quick peek, none. So now I'll just mix them up a little bit, try not to remember what all was in there. And just play honestly. Try to remember or don't remember, try not to remember what is in there. Okay, so let's see here how this goes. Lap one, sprint one. Okay, so I think I will play a three, six, nine. I think this jo the East could be joker bait. Oh, let me just show you what I started with here. There we go. Okay. So 369, that's what I'm keeping. Three, got a keeper. Ooh, a 6-2. So now we'll start breaking these up, I think. tiles to pass there. There's some keepers. Got a flower and a south there. Let's see, 369 with threes, I'm thinking here. I think I'm going to pass one blind. We got a nine. So there we go. And now optional cross. I'm thinking the three, six, nine pair hand. I'm going to do two blind. Lap. Okay. So three, six, nine. And I'm thinking maybe the pair hand. So. We need a six crack and then a six dot in there and then maybe the three dot. Or we could play the three, six, nine, three, six, nine in pairs and then the uh, Kongs of threes. So yeah, there's a couple options there. Three discards, about four discards. So I think that was pretty good. That would have been a, a fun hand to see through to the end. Okay, so we'll go on now to sprint two. Okay. There's the 14, and here's my Charleston. Okay, here we go. Lap. Oh, 
Okay, so either 789 or 2468. We do have a gap where we have no 6 for the 2468 option. Let's pass these three. I'm thinking 789. Now there's a 6. 2468. 7, 8, 9, 7, 8, 7, 8, 9. Let's give it the 7. Okay, 3, 5 north. Don't need those. There's a 4. Now we have 2, 4, 6, 8. We do have a gap of no 6. But I'm thinking probably the 2, 4, 6, 8 is going to be a better hand here. So let's keep two, four, six, eights. Oopsies. I seriously doubt anybody would pass me a pair of flowers, but you never know. We don't need both of those for sure. Let's go for a one suit option. We got a four and we have a pair here, but I'm not gonna pass a pair and I'm not gonna pass a flower, but I will pass one blind. lap okay so we're playing two four six eight we've got four discards that was pretty good this would be the concealed hand under two four six eight all we need is a six bam to really fill that in nicely all right on to split three Okay, let's get rid of these jokers if there aren't any in here. There's one. Nope, okay. All right, let's see what we got to work with this time. No jokers this time. Okay, we do have one multiple here, a three. So I'm thinking a consecutive three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Who knows? Let's go ahead and pass these three. We got a three, so we'll keep that. Anytime I'm in um, mixed suits, I like to keep four numbers in a range around my multiple. So I'm gonna keep all my three, four, fives, two, three, four, five. There's tiles to pass. There's a flower, who knows, we might be able to use that, I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, one, three, five, three, five. We could play a one, three, three, five. We could play three, four, five with fours in the middle. Let's give up the one. I think a consecutive is better for this situation. There are tiles to pass here. And there's a five. And we have tiles to pass. Okay, lap. So we have two, three, four, five, four discards, and we've got all kinds of options. We could do two, three, four with threes in the middle. We could do three, four, five with fours in the middle. We could um, do any number of consecutive options here. So let's see what my average is. I think I made it under two minutes. Okay, for sure. So, 
clear that out. So my first one was 144. Then 150. And then 140. So that's four minutes and 34 seconds. So, one minute 33, so one minute and 43 seconds. So I made it under my two minute guideline. Give this exercise a try yourself and let me know what you think about it. Come and let me know what your best time is. It's a great practice for tournament play. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe. Between now and the next Charleston Modeling for American Style with Sprints, may all your picks be keepers.